homie Homerson. We're at the old lake at Lake Okeechobee. Hey, we're gonna do something cool. So I love space balls. We got it all shined up and pretty right here. I don't think it's for vanity that I pimped out space balls. I, I really tried to make everything on it functional and really give me a stronger ability to, to fish more efficiently and, and catch more bass. So it was kind of like the project idea behind Spaceballs. So we're not going to do a full boat walkthrough today, but I got my buddy Rich over there. He's from Hydraulic Gear. He actually created on his own, he's a lot more creative than me, he created all these accessories that I have on my power poles. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk to Rich about what those accessories are, how they set up on the boat, how they install, and what exactly they do. Like what problems do they solve? So hit that like and subscribe button. We're here at Scott Driver Park on beautiful Lake Okeechobee. We're gonna talk space balls, power pull accessories. So Rich, you like space balls? I like these seats. <laughs> My Instagram is Hydrilla Gear. My name is Rich. It says right here, Hydrilla Gear. I like Rich. Rich is fun, dude. You know, I met Rich years ago, dude. Actually, the first time and last time I ever went to ICAST, we went up to dinner with Rich. So with Gambler right. and Val and all that. But Rich does a bunch of power pole accessories. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you real quick everything that's on my boat. And then we're going to go back with Rich and have him explain kind of the concept behind it. So I got a few things. One, I have the spike, just the tip right there. We have the hydraulic folding brackets right here. And then my absolute favorite, because I hate Hey, and Rich freaking laughs at me, laughs at me. I hate my anchor light, I hate getting it out, I hate putting it in, I hate pulling it out, never pull out by the way. So it's that guy right there. So basically that's a light, it's, it's well, I'll let Rich tell you, but basically it's in my panel. All I gotta do is hit one button and my anchor light's good to go. So Rich, tell me a little bit about like the concepts behind some of these things. Like what went into developing the spike? What does the spike actually do? As far as developing the products, what I do on a daily basis is rig boats. So as I'm going through these boats and we're selling product and you know I'm a stickler for the way things look, um, you know, things come to mind and you start trying to make product better and elaborate on other people's product. Spike tip, very simple. You know, it's it's just an idea that we had over time this fiberglass rod would start to splinter on some of the older shallow water anchors um, and the spike wears down. So we just decided to come out with a tip that was gonna answer some of the problems for those guys who fish rock, um, hard bottom, stuff like that. And it ended up looking super cool. But you told me if you wanna have a real cool experience too, you drop your power poles while you're driving. Yeah, we can try that today. And you can get like a nice like spark trail, dude. It, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the sparks are cool, we like fire. <laughs> So, um, and we'll take picks too. So if, once you grind those down, <laughs> you'll wear it too well. It's always cool to see stuff get tore up. So tell me a little bit about these brackets. Cause these are functional wise. I love my light, but these are awesome. Cause we got a carport on our house in Gunnersville and she, actually you can even show me how they work if you want. Yeah. So the tilt bracket again, it was a, it was a answer to a problem that we saw come about with guys installing power poles or shallow water anchors on their boat and then had clearance issues with the garage door header um, or a low-lying carport something like that so we basically just developed a hinge bracket it's a folding bracket that sandwiches between the power pole and, and the adapter plate um, and it becomes a hinge point so you can fold the pole into the boat clear the obstacle that's that's put in front of you and uh, just keep moving forward so the tilt bracket's pretty straightforward you can see We've got these pins up here. They're spring loaded. It's all stainless steel. So the same pins are top and bottom, depending on which way you want to fold the pole or even if you want to remove it. So you reach underneath here, you squeeze the pins, and you fold the pole into the boat, travel down the road, get into the garage. So one supplemental thing that I actually did is the poles, depending on your style of boat, they can lay on your transom like that. Rich, lift that thing up a little bit, put a little bit of a stomp pad, kind of like you'd put like a traction thing on your on your trailer and that, and then it can lay against that. My poles actually cross, so then they cross over each other and I throw a strap around them. I can travel with them. It doesn't hit the boat or cause any kind of damage in that. And I can still fold those things down to get under the carport. All right, my favorite thing. And, it, and sometimes simple things are the best things. So. What do you even call this light? I should probably know the name. This is our shallow water anchor LED. It's very straightforward, my uh, <laughs> <laughs> So this prevents me or doesn't give me the headache of using my, my pole light, which drives me nuts. So it wires in. Tell me a little bit about it. So it's straightforward. We, we built this light so that you can just simply flick your switch at your console, jump in the boat, 
take off early in the morning. Um, you know, we just saw other products being developed on the market. And, you know, as, as I look at stuff and see um, where there can be uh, changes made, we'll say, that's what I've, I've just put to work here. So we machine it out of aluminum. It's fully sealed, LED driver, chipboard. Everything's housed in here. Um, you're just not gonna destroy this light. It's super bright. We have a three year warranty with it. If something happens, we don't just send you an LED. We send you the whole entire fixture. So um, yeah, we're pretty proud of it. It's functional, it's easy, it looks great. So funny story, <laughs> one, of the, one of the craziest things that I've seen. So you know how you always like fish docks that have lights and stuff like that? I've literally dropped into a boat ramp and I've dropped this thing with the light on and had like freaking 20 bluegill come over and like congregate around the light. So very, in a sneaky way, you can literally like roll up to a structure or something, drop these guys and make your own dock light, especially if you love night fishing and kind of like draw them in, dude. It's kind of a cool little deal. How you doing? Oh, yeah. okay. That is a wrap, my homies. Rich rigs boats, and he did so before even power poles were cool. He's one of the first power pole dealers. If you guys have any questions about like rigging electronics, especially if you're rigging like two different brands in one boat, if you got any kind of just conundrums, electronic or boat rigging conundrums, this guy is your guy. So where can they get you if they want to? Hydrilagear.com. What's your personal cell phone number that? <laughs> It's, it's on the website it's anyway the because it's my business and you're going to talk to me and everyone wants to talk to me. So just use the number on the website and you're going to get a hold of me. I love Rich. He's a good dude. But hit that like and subscribe button. If you got questions for Rich, hit him up. Definitely on his personal cell phone number. And we'll see you back out on the water or talking about Spaceballs. Later.